Good day guys, this is Jello and welcome to my channel. Sa video nito, malalaman mo kung paano mag-register sa PDAX, how to activate 2FA, and cash-in options. Before we start, please hit the like button and consider subscribing para updated ka sa pwedeng pagkakitaan online. To go on this website, type in lang natin ang pdocs.ph Ano nga ba ang PDAX? To give you background, ang Philippine Digital Asset Exchange or mas kilala sa tawag na PDAX ay isang online cryptocurrency trading platform na nag-start noong 2017. Ang maganda sa crypto exchange platform na ito ay aprobado at sinusupervise siya ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. Dito pa lang makikita na natin na super legit ang website. Competitive din ang pricing ng mga cryptocurrency and as you can see here, yung wallet solution ni PDAX is audited and protected ng insurance. So masasabi natin na safe gamitin ang platform na ito. Nakapartner din siya kay BitMEX, Consensus, Ripple, Union Bank, and CMT Digital. To register, click lang natin ng create account, then enter our email address, choose the country kung nasaan ka, in my case, Philippines, Tap natin yung box para sa I am not a robot at sagutan lang natin yung CAPTCHA. This is just to make sure na hindi robot yung sumasagot o gumagawa ng account sa PDAX. After this, check natin yung box para sa accept of terms of use and privacy policy. If you have free time, feel free to read the terms of use and privacy policy. Then hit register and you will receive this message that you have created a new account. Now check lang natin yung ating email. And hit lang natin yung complete your registration. After this, you will be prompted to the next page na kung saan pwede ka na gumawa ng yung password. For the password, make sure na it is between 8 and 20 characters and it must contain at least one lowercase, one uppercase, number, and one special character. Then, check natin ulit yung box ng I am not a robot. Then, set my password. Congratulations! You are now successfully registered sa PDAX. You will be prompted to this part encouraging you to enable two-factor security. It is important to have this additional layer of security since money ang involved dito. For now, I will cancel this and I will guide you later on how we can enable this two-factor security. For the meantime, I will tour you kung ano itsura ng webpage ng newly registered account sa PDAX. This is the main part of your portfolio. Under the Activities tab, dito mo may kita ang history ng mga transaction mo. Then, we go to Funds, which have three options. Payment In, Payment Out, and Transfer Funds. But for now, since di pa tayo dumadaan sa upgrade or verification process, wala pang silbi lahat ng option na to.
Balik muna tayo sa portfolio. And hit upgrade account. Pindutin natin ulit ang upgrade account. Sa account type, piliin natin ang personal. There are 5 steps that we need to do to upgrade the account. And this whole process may take around 5 to 7 minutes. Sa so step 1, register your country. Automatic naman siya. Ang kailangan lang natin i-hit ng next. For step 2, you just have to put in your personal information like title if you are a Mr. or Mrs. First name, last name, middle name, date of birth, your nationality, kung saan ka pinanganak, your active contact number, your valid ID. For valid IDs, we have options like GSIS, SSS, TIN, student ID, ACR or passport. Then your current address. Then click natin in next. Sa step 3 naman, upload lang natin yung dineclare natin na ID. For step 4, kailangan lang natin mag-selfie kasama yung ID natin. At for the last step, you will have a chance to review all the details before submitting it. So make sure na tama lahat ng details. This process normally takes 24 to 48 hours, but in my case, it took 5 days to be exact to complete the verification. And you will know na okay na siya once you get an email notification na successful na ang verification or upgrade. Now I will show you how we can enable two-factor security. This feature is an additional layer of protection sa ating account. To do this, click lang natin ang enable 2FA. So if someone able to access your password, malaking tulong ang 2FA para hindi nila mabuksan ang account mo. We just need to download a Google Authenticator. Pasensya na po, ayaw ilaw ng application yung screen recording, kaya konting screenshot lang ang masishare ko about this. After you download this app, choose lang natin yung scan QR code from the application. Then, hit lang natin yung Add New sa PDAX platform. And scan natin yung QR code. This will generate a one-time password to your phone. Enter lang natin ito sa empty box and hit confirm. Then set up na siya. Login tayo sa account ko to see how this works. After we enter the password and answer the captcha, It will now ask for the OTP or one-time password na magre-reflect lang sa Google Authenticator mo. And this code will change every minute or less than a minute for security. Here's how the verified account looks like. Punta tayo sa funds. And check natin yung option for payment in, payment out, at transfer funds. For payment in, we have options like fiat currencies and digital assets. Press natin yung PHP, then cash in. Under cash in, we have various options like online banking, e-wallet, or over the counter. The online banking, you have AUB. BDO, BPI, and other banks. Meron din tayong Instapay and Pesonet. Makikita mo rin dito yung time frame ng pag-cash in, kung magkano ang cost, and minimum and maximum na pwede mong i-cash in. For example, si BDO. Real time ang pag-cash in niya, and ang transaction fee is 15 pesos. Then, ang limit for cash in is minimum of 200 to maximum of 50,000 pesos. Now, kung di ka naman nagmamadali sa pag-cashing, we can choose any of these three options para wala ka ng transaction fee. 
For example, si InstaPay. Na may cash in limit na 200 to 50,000 pesos. And maghihintay lang tayo ng 1 to 3 banking days para pumasok siya sa PDAX account natin. Then for e-wallet, meron tayong GCash, CoinsPH, at PayMaya. And may mga over-the-counter options din si PDAX. Now, punta naman tayo sa payment out. Same with payment in, we have fiat and digital assets options. Hit PHP, then cash out. For payment out, available din ang over-the-counter. Though, limited lang siya kay M. Luillier and Cebuana. Meron din siyang corresponding fees. For e-wallet, meron tayong PayMaya. Ang maganda kay PayMaya is real-time siya at wala tayong nakikita ang transaction fee. And for online banking, meron tayong PesoNet, InstaPay, and Union Bank. For other banks' options, once we choose either PesoNet or InstaPay, we can select from the list of many banks na nakapartner kay PDAX. Cut muna natin hanggang dito ang video. For the part 2 ng PDAX coverage, I will show you on how to cash in, how to transfer funds, and how to buy and sell bitcoins. Thank you sa panonood. I hope na nakatulong ang video na ito to have an additional extra income.